I swear right now, none of you better make fun of my attire, because I know how you, all of you are. You're like, Chibi, Chibi, what, what's with the mustache? What's with the clothing? What, you know, what's with the, what's with the hat? You know, I, I swear, I swear right now, I swear you all better chill, okay? I'm freezing. Like, my, my hands are numb, and my feet are numb, and all. I gotta wear this because I'm cold. But anyways, though, I'm very glad to have this series back. I'm very glad to have The Ancient Magus' Bride finally back. I mean, it was on break last week, and I really missed it, because I like this series. I've already stated my opinion on The Ancient Magus Bride. It is definitely one of my favorites that I have been keeping up with. It is a series that I hold close personally to my heart just because of the style of it, to the way the storytelling is, to you know, how this series reminds me of like something from, you know, Disney and all that, and I was just like, this is a really fun series to watch every single week. And so I missed it last week, when, you know, Saturday finally rolled around, and, you know, the time around when, you know, the episode comes out, you know, arrived, and the episode wasn't there, I'm like, I'm kind of sad, I, I like this series, and it wasn't there, and I'm like, I miss it, I want it back, but, you know, holidays will be holidays, and everybody needs to take a break eventually, but, uh, anyways, the newest episode has finally arrived, it's out, and we have a new opening song, now, I'm just gonna be straight up with all of you, okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna be honest, I do not like the new opening song. I don't. I mean, the voices in the opening, like the, you know, the actual vocals, vocals fine, okay? I don't think it's as good as opening one's vocals, but the vocals are fine. However, I'm talking about the footage, the the visuals in the opening song. The, the visuals in OP2 is absolute trash. I'm sorry to say it, it is. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Let me explain why. The visuals in the opening was just straight up recap. That, that's all it was. It, it, it was nothing but scenes that we have seen already from the first half of the series. I mean, you can see that. Every single scene, every little bit of animation in the opening, the new opening, is just reused footage. And so, it's a very lazy opening. It's just like they slapped a bunch of different clips from the anime first half and then slapped it in for OP2. That's basically what happened. However, there could be a little bit of a shining light at the end of the tunnel for this. There could be two things here, two reasons for this. Number one, maybe they wanted an opening like this to kind of showcase that what has happened, like all that's went down and all that, and kind of give us a brief recap on, you know, what Chise has learned or how much she has changed throughout the series. Maybe that's why the opening was like that. Or, the second option is the possibility that maybe the studio wasn't able to finish the opening in time, the visuals in the opening, and so they decided to just do reused animation for OP2, and then, you know, maybe next week when it finally rolls around, they'll actually have the proper opening sequence. That could be the case here. However, regardless of whatever it is, I don't really like the opening song in this episode. I don't. I mean, it just, it's definitely a step down from the glorious OP, which was the first one from the first half of the series of The Ancient Magus' Bride. It's a little bit disappointed about that, and I think many could probably agree with me that it easily just, it, it's... It's nothing. It's nothing compared to the other one we had. But, uh, anyways, let's get into stuff that actually matters. Because, I mean, that's just my little complaint. I don't think many probably really care about it overall. It just is me personally because I really love that opening. I never skipped it. And I'm most likely going to be skipping this opening for, you know, Ancient Magus Bride. Because it just, it's not that good. So, uh, this latest episode... We have some really good stuff go down. For number one, we get to kind of see whatever might be happening in the second half of the Ancient Magus' Bride. We see, like, an older Chisei. We see an Ellis that's just traveling around in the woods and all that, like he's lonely. And then you have, you know, this scene to where there's, like, the city and all that. And you see, like, you know, flying. Like, you know, you see this creature flying, which most likely is our, you know, uh, main male character, Ellis, and all that. So when you see these little scenes, it's most likely just telling us what to expect towards the end of this series. For instance, the second half, and I, I think that's really cool. It lets us know that there's definitely something really crazy going to go down, but at the same time, though, I'm like, whoa, what, what led to that? And I do like the contrast and how seeing Ellis, you know, traveling through the forest, that actually went with the theme of this episode, or the first half of the episode, it went with the theme. And what I'm talking about in the theme is loneliness. See, we already kind of saw a glimpse of this a couple episodes back, you know, when, you know, Ellis was talking to Chisei, and basically saying it's very cold and all that, and he was mentioning that. Basically, 
we could see that he's a lonely individual. He's very lonely without Chise, and he wishes, you know, she was back in there again, but, you know, he was alone and didn't have her, and he didn't really know what these feelings were. He didn't know how to express himself, which this is something that's already been explained many episodes ago, that he doesn't know what emotions really are. He doesn't understand them, and so, because of that, he can't really feel sadness for other people or understand what love is or anything like that. When he says things, he just most likely will be lying. Like, if he says he's happy, or if he feels like, you know, he loves someone, basically, he's most likely lying, because he doesn't know how to understand those emotions, and he obviously is experiencing loneliness, because he talks to Chise about that, and she actually gives a name to what he was feeling, and I love that moment when he grabs Chise, he lifts her up, and you can just see how happy he was. He clearly was showing signs of joy, because he realized that maybe he's not so different from a human after all. He is able to understand other people, and he's not such an outcast. Maybe that's why he was so happy. So we do get a little bit of a connection in this episode with the OVA, by the way. When we have that little montage going on and all that, and then also what you know, Ella says to Chise, like, you can be my human teacher, that was basically a nod to, you know, the OVA. The OVAs obviously take place kind of a little bit further off from the first episode of the series, and you have it to where Chise and Ella are kind of like in a really good relationship they're both teaching each other, you know, one's teaching magic, one's teaching how to understand and be more like a human or understand what emotions are and stuff like that. And that's kind of what we see in this episode. We see the montage kind of show little scenes from the OVA, which most likely could go with time constraints, which was what I talked about the opening song. Maybe they ran into some time constraints and they had to throw in a couple of recaps and stuff to be able to kind of, you know get everything done for next week's episode. But whatever the case may be, though, the OVA is officially, like, connected with this episode. We see the montage. We actually have a, a time to when you should start the OVA. So if you've been waiting to watch the OVA of the Ancient Magus Bride, for instance, the three episodes, then now is the perfect time to watch it after this episode because of the montage that we got. Now, um, besides all of that, though... I do want to say, I really, 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 really like how Chise finally sat down and kind of talked to, you know, us, and it's like, I, I don't fear you. I'm not scared of you. I I I'm not. The only thing I fear, the only thing I'm scared of when it comes to you is the fact that you will abandon me. It's the fact that you will throw me away, which is, this, this is an emotion we have seen Chise display a lot. She has explained her thought process on this many times in the past, so this isn't something that just came out of nowhere and was like, whoa, like, where'd this come from? She's been talking about it, and that's one of the biggest fears she has, is that she won't be wanted, and eventually she'll just be thrown out the door, and she will be homeless again, and she'll be wandering from house to house and all that, which is the reason why she even wandered up into, you know, Alice's place in the first place, was because she sold herself off, because she just, like, at least someone, when they do buy me, they'll actually want me for something, even if it's not really that good of life. So that's kind of what was going on there. And so I do like how Chise confronted this and basically explained to him like, look, I don't fear you. I'm not scared of you. I, I don't think you're scary. And she's seen a lot worse, obviously. She's seen a lot of creepier things in her life. And so someone like Ellis is probably not the creepiest thing she's ever seen. So when she states that, it kind of allows him to open up more to Chise. And you can see that he's a little bit happy about that. Especially when he starts to nuzzle her with his, like, bone nose and all that. Which is really really interesting. It's a really interesting characteristic because that is something you see animals do, I want to point out. I don't know how many of you know about that, but some animals nuzzle an individual and sometimes nuzzle their young or nuzzle their family members or nuzzle, you know, their, you know, the person that's taking care of them. Animals do that. And when I saw, you know, Ellis actually doing that to Chise, I was like, that's something what an animal would do, which kind of reinstates the fact that Ellis can most likely be a chimera. I mean, I've already talked about this, that that is a potential possibility. I mean, he remembers little glimpses here and there. He knows he ate, you know, humans in the past. He believes he did, but he doesn't really remember anything, which kind of lets us know since he's in between both a fairy and, you know, a human, that most likely he is a chimera. And seeing in this episode of what was going on with that, it, it, it automatically makes me assume that that fury is becoming more and more possible. So, yeah. Anyways, let's talk about uh, the scene to when Chise said that Dude, did I look tasty? She actually says that to Ellis. And in many ways, many might misinterpret that and think, you know, weirder thoughts. But obviously we knew. If you've been paying attention to the story, you knew what she say meant by that. She's like, did I look tasty by, like, did you want to actually eat me? And 
automatically you could feel the tone shift in that scene. Ellis puts his, you know, staff right on Chise's head, about to remove her memories without even really saying anything. Like, he's like, you don't need these, and he's just gonna remove them. And so, it shows that he does not want Chise to know that. He wanted to hide that from her, and he didn't want her to fear him. It's, it's clear as day is that he didn't want her to be scared of him. That, that's clear as day, especially after that reaction he had. But once again, it goes along with the fact that he doesn't understand human emotions. Because humans, they don't like their memories tampered with. They don't like to have people going into their mind, messing with their memories and all that, and making them forget what, you know, they actually know. People don't like that type of stuff. So... That is another thing he needs to work on, but I like how Chise opened up to him and explained, like, she doesn't want to forget, she wants to know more, and she does not fear him. Anyways, let's talk about the final part of the episode, which is the, uh, the Ashen Eyes, or whatever his name is. I, I forgot his name, so forgive me about that, but it's a new character that's introduced, and his voice actor... Who would have guessed? Kirde Kotamine. I mean, you most likely might not know if you don't watch a lot of anime or if you don't watch Fate Stay Night, then most likely you don't know who I'm talking about. But if you do, you know what I'm getting at. A man with that voice actor, Kirde Kotamine, obviously is a man that could do nothing wrong. He, he is a man that is at the level of Griffith status. He is a good man. And so, when I heard that voice actor, I heard that narration going on, I'm like, that's my boy Kirde. Rejoice, Shonen. And I'm like, or Yorokobe. That, that, that's the better way to say it. But uh, I was like, that is a really interesting voice actor to have. And when he walked up to the doorstep and all that, he was trying to talk to Chise. I'm like, something really bad is going to happen. Like, just the voice actor alone, it gives it off. Like, you just know. The only characters that the voice actor voices is usually some really good men. People that can do no wrong. So when I heard that, I'm like, yeah, something obviously is going to happen. And what do you guess? Chise turned into a fox. Okay, okay, I wonder what, uh, I wonder what Ellis is going to do. I I'm very curious on, you know, what he's going to do, what his reaction to that. I mean, hmm, very curious. So, I want to leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you felt about this week's episode. How'd you feel about the opening song? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it an opening song basically just to make us wait for next week when they actually have the official song done? I mean, do you think they were just stalling for time? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this episode or hated it. I love you guys. If you like my content, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. Love you guys. Please be safe. Chibi out.